let me ask you a question. In this here box, is some of the finest engineering that Plastron has ever been blessed with. Marshalltown stainless steel finishing trial. Can you take one of these straight out of the box and plaster a wall of it and leave a nice job? That's the question. What do you reckon? Yes or no? Should we find out? Let's do a test. So here you can see, I'm just knocking the edges off the trowel. I'm giving it a nice little rub on a curbstone just to take the very sharp square edge off a little bit. I haven't spent long doing this. Usually I'd spend about an hour, but on this, I've just turned it to the job, so I'm literally just giving it 10 minutes outside, doing what I can. This is genuinely straight out the packet to skim in a wall within like 10 minutes of opening the box. Let's give this little baby a run for its money, eh? Feels like a nice balance to be fair. It's it's a decent shape to it as well. Customer, straight in, straight on camera. There you go, Chris. You're famous. <laughs> We've given it a little rub on the concrete, haven't we? So Now this isn't a lesson in skimming, but make sure you fill your beads out like this. Rather than going out to them and curling the wall out to your beads, make sure you go up and down them and fill them out. It is a pet hate of mine when plasterers don't do that. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's not dragging either, to be fair. I'm sure it will be shallow enough because it's not worn in yet, but it seems to be laying on lovely and smooth. It just feels completely different stainless steel to carbon steel. It feels like um, smoother when you're laying on with it. Carbon seems to feel more coarse. And the, the good thing is stainless is a softer metal, so it does wear in faster. I'm also, I'm going to wear the toe in as well because I use the toe of the trowel a lot for things like this, you know, getting in between little places. So I'm also going to wear that in the front of this trowel. This part of the trowel here, the toe will be nice and sharp as well, so you can use that plastering around little areas. When you look down it, it's not curved too much. You get ties at tyres actually curve like that when you look down so you can't really use the toe for things because they're too curved whereas that's got a nice nice little curve to it but it's fairly flat so you can use the toe confidently without knowing it's not going to you know, ruin the shape of the wall weird this because it's quite wide compared to what I'm used to you sort of use a trial day in day out and it feels like a little extension of your arm and then when you go and get yourself a different one that's wider or a different shape or a different metal and it just Feels foreign to use, yeah. feels really strange at first until you get used to it. But I'm going to give this a good month of wearing in so that whoever gets it, they're going to get a lovely warning trial.
right, so it first coats on. It's not as neat as I'd normally have to get it on, but the wall is a little bit out of shape, so I have to put it on quite thick in places. The trowel up to now feels lovely. I can tell it's a new trowel, but it's not dragging the plaster. It's not, it's not tearing nothing and causing nothing to slide. It's uh, stainless steel. It feels like silk over the plaster. It's a completely different feel to carbon. But up to now, it's been quite nice. So we're going to flatten this in now because normally I put it on neater. So I'm going to flatten it and then we're going to knock that stuff back up again. And we're going to second coat it with uh, the same gear but a bit wetter so it goes off quicker. We're going to put this little chimney breast on just for the new log burn that's gone in. So we've got all the little cheeks on the front on. So we'll get that second coat in a minute. But now I'm just going to flatten it with this and as well. I'll leave these corners square, sometimes round these off um, so they don't dig in. Um, I use different pressure on the trowel, I'll put more pressure on the back so the toe doesn't dig in. I'll let them square because I like to be able to get right into the corners of the walls. I mean, you can always take these off in the future, but I like to leave them on. It's just a light plaster. Feels absolutely lovely. Just trying to be fair. Don't, don't want to give it away, I might keep it. We're only messing, we're only messing. Look, here's the... There's the dragon issues with new trials. Just pulls the stuff around a little bit. Best thing to do is not mess with it too much, just leave it, let it pick up a little bit. See it dragging here. See this? See this? This is because the edge of this is quite sh squared off and sharp. So instead of smoothing over the surface of the plastic, it catches all of it and drags it. This is the issue of new trials. This is why beginners struggle so much with a new trial because it's not worn in, you see. Now I'll be able to faff around with this and get it fairly nice. But I know exactly what I'm doing with it, you see. See these lines we're getting here, line every time we go one side to the other, we get a line. So we're getting a line, do get over that line, get a line. What that tells me is that that's hollow. When you're getting lines like that, you know that this needs building up more. So I know I could build it up now, but I know how severe it is, so I'm gonna just get that with the I'm gonna put the second coat on. I'll build that up more then. For now, I'll just get rid of the lines, go that way, but we know it's curved. So I, what I'll do is, second coat goes on, I'll put it on a bit thicker there, but I'm going to let this pick up a little bit so it sticks in the background a bit better, because we know there's new trials going to drag a little bit, so I'm going to let that pick up, then put some wet stuff on and build it up more. Because I know it'll drag, I'm really going nice and light, just smoothing out any big lines and deviations. But I'm not pressing too hard because I know what will happen. The trowel will grab the stuff and it'll just slide. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> it's a pain in the ass, that's what it is. Working with a brand new trowel is a pain in the ass. Say hello, Maisie. <laughs> say hello mate, Maisie's my 14 year old daughter, she's a little bit shy, everybody say hello Maisie! <laughs> I always take the, the moisture off the top of the board so the stuff doesn't slide off, you want, you want this damp and you want this sort of damp, you don't want them wet and you don't want them dry because your plaster will dry and stick to it, so you just want them damp, you don't want the stuff to slide off. So like that now it stays on. If that was soaking wet, oh, goes a little bit. But if that was, if I had a sheen of water on it, it'd be straight off. Uh, 
Now, we've got to go a little bit faster. Because we've just wet that up, this will set quicker. So we've got to get a little bit of a wiggle on. I must say, this does feel lovely putting on. Oh, I've just dragged some, some rubbish into the mix. With me nice worn in trowel, I seem to do this. Like just with precision effing I do. But with this, I feel like I'm an amateur again, you know, I can't seem to get nothing to, to go right because everything just sticks to the edge of the blade because it's not sharp. Now, that didn't look very systematic because I've had to get around these switches and what have you, but I roughly went top left to top right, bottom left to bottom right, and now I'll just get the bottom two cheeks. So, same process as when you skim just normal wall, you know, you sort of follow a, a set pattern. Now remember, we've got to fill this one out. This one wasn't on thick enough the first coat, it was going on too thick. So we've got to build this one up a little bit. And time's against us as well, because I can feel already this stuff is thickening up. You know, it's only been a couple of minutes, but it's already starting to thicken up, so. I have really got time for jelly sandwiches. Now, keep the back of your trowel clean all the time. Can't do a clean job with a dirty trowel, so just keep washing that off. Watch this, watch this. Stuff, bucket trowel. Plopped on. I have not smashed that into my handboard. Every time you smash that into there, you chip plaster and you'll get little rocks in your mix. Just plop it on. That does not touch the base of that. Notice how it's come up the beads. So they filled out. I never just go like that all the time because you'll curve the wall, so you've got to go up and down your beads. <clears throat> now, you'll like this bit. I usually use a thinner trowel, like four inch, so I can get round places like this very easy because it just fits in. This is a bit of a tighter squeeze. Whatever you do, watch you don't touch the wires in the back and sockets if you haven't turned the power off because you'll end up on the flipping moon. <laughs> so just go very careful and be careful what you're doing not to touch inside here, the back of any of these bits with this because you'll know about it. Oh. Look at me. Yes, you can use little spatulas, all sorts of fancy little tools to get round sockets. You can have millions of little tools. I've got a box out there full of all different things, but I prefer you to use your trowel if you can, because one, you haven't got to go and get stuff. 
Two, you're not dependent on other things because, you know, if you've got an apprentice like mine, you probably lose them. So, getting used to just using your trowel. If your trowel won't fit in, then use something else. But otherwise, just try and use that. Save you loads of time. You want to sort of make it so the trowel feels like an extension of your body, you know. You can literally do anything with it and I know the sizes and dimensions of it automatically. I look at a gap and I'll know that that fits in or it won't fit in just because I'm not used to using it in tight spaces. Right, Maisie, as soon as I've got this on, you've got to go and scrape that bucket out and wash it out, okay? Because this stuff's going off quite quick. Mm. And if you leave it too long, you know, the alarms will struggle scrape out the bucket, all right? <laughs> right, young Maisie's out there washing out now. And I haven't got much time because it's going off quite quick, so I'm going to get over it now. Now, usually when you flatten in, I recommend you don't use water. But, because the trowel is brand new, on the edge of the blade, that part, let me see, let me show you. This edge here is not sharp. It's still square. The edge of the metal, if you've got it on the, like a magnifying glass or if you had sharp eyes, you could see... It's, it's still square here. So the, the bottom of the square drags hold of the plastic, it grips it and pulls it, and that's what you've seen before. So I usually wouldn't use water when flattening in, but for the simple fact I want to lubricate the plastic so this glides over it rather than grabbing it, we're going to use water on the, on the flatten. Only for that one reason. So I'm going to put you here. Maisie can't hold the camera now, so I'm going to put you here and hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on. Can you see me? I'm just wetting this down as well, keeping this lubricated, especially. Just a little bit of water, not a lot, just to lubricate it a bit. When it's, when it's brand new like this, tiger stripes and ripples are going to be what happen. They're going to be tiger stripes and ripple galore, so expect them. I'll show you how to get rid of them. Tell you what, Marshall Town, they half make a nice trial. It's a flipping lovely bit of engineering. Just feels like nice and balanced, you know. I use tyres at trials for the, for a while, and they're okay. The only reason I stopped using the tyres act, because unlike Marshall Town, toe was curved. And I use the toe a lot for getting in little tight spaces, so that was the only reason I stopped using the tyres act. I actually preferred the handle position on the tyres act, it's a bit further back. Yeah, so that means that the pressure ends up being more towards the heel of the trowel, leaving less lines with the toe. So I prefer the handle position, but I didn't like the shape. There's Kieran messaging me from Budapest. I preferred the handle position, but I didn't like the curve. So that's the only reason I stopped using tyres act. Now I made a nice trial. I had a Nella trowel, the handle just fell apart though, you know, the, um, the cork grip, it just went to bits, which didn't bother me, I just used it without the cork on it, you know, I just used the bare plastic, but then eventually when I was shaping it, just never bothered buying another one. Uh, Are you back, please? Yeah. Do us a favour. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> Trying not to mess with it too much. I just want the dragon to start. Okay, we get a little bit of them, a little bit of bubbling. Come, 
foam stand here, see if you can get it across, you can you see it across there, can you, you see that bubbling, that's got nothing to do with the trowel, let me hold that in here, you see that bubbling there, that's nothing to do with the trowel that, that's just, there you go, get me back in the shot again, that's just the paint, a little bit of a reaction, if the SBR, if the SPR had dried out from the day before or something, you wouldn't get that. But because we've got the SPR about 20 minutes to dry, still get a little bit of background suction and a little bit of reaction. Um, anyway, all I was going to tell you was don't worry about it. There you go. There you go. I know um, loads of fellas, when they're starting out, they see a few bubbles and they start panicking, but nothing to worry about just yet. Now, because I've left the corner on my trowel, corner's nice and sharp, I can really get tight into the, the, the corners. Yes, they're a bit more of a pain for leaving a line when there's a corner, but if you put pressure on the back of the trowel, they won't leave a line, rather than putting pressure on the toe, and you can get neater into tighter little spaces, you know. It's going quite well up to now, to be fair. This trowel is not giving us any castle as of yet. A little bit of dragging. It's good to sort of bring Maisie into work every now and then. Her and her sisters have this like little uh, show style lifestyle where they seem to get pretty much anything they want. And the out on the horses and the, got all the fancy phones and all that sort of gear and it's it's good to sort of let them come and see how it all happens you know <laughs> let them come and experience the pain i have to go through to provide that lifestyle <laughs> mm -hmm. and Maisie knows this one this daughter's a graft in fact they're all they're all hard workers they're all grafters but this one's a strong one, aren't you, Maze? <laughs> <laughs> she, she's, a, she's a proper little worker. And uh, it's nice to come and spend a bit of time with your dad, isn't it, love? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got, we got little little Kirk, who seems to take up all of everybody's time in the house, the little baby. Isabel, the youngest daughter, is like my little princess. She's glued to me the minute I go home. Chloe, the eldest daughter, we hardly ever see her because she's out and about with her mates. She's got a car, so she just disappears. And Maisie seems to not get left out, but not get much of me time. So if I can get her in for a day with her dad, working on the weekend, you know, gives her a couple of quid. And it gives her some nice time together, doesn't it? Right, that's that now. Let's go and see how maisie has got on washing this bucket, haven't we? Okay, so it's time for the first wet trowel. And what I'm doing is a little technique, a little trick. Rather than just sort of wetting it, I'm brushing the wall all over. So in a sense, this does a similar sort of thing to if you were sponging it. And I'm only doing this because the trowel's new and I just know that it's a lot easier to trowel up once you've done this because it stops it dragging, especially in the first sort of stages. The only thing is, you get the odd little bristle that comes off. Can you see that? Can you see it on the camera? <laughs> in the backside. My brush is getting alopecia. Yeah, I just know brushing it really helps the trowel not stick. So, little trick for you. Oh, what a lot of fellas do is when they're breaking in a trowel, they'll use the new trowel as much as they possibly can, and then they'll finish it with a broken in trowel. But if you're sort of stuck 
using just a brand new one straight out of the box and you haven't got nothing else then these are the sort of little techniques you can use so oh, I'll just use this right to the end just to show you that it is sort of possible it's just not as enjoyable it's an easier job if you have got a warning trowel to use as well but I can't really stress enough if you're a beginner using a brand new trowel you just you're not going to have an easy time at all Everything just takes a little bit more effort when it's a new trial. So usually, if I was just using my warning carbon steel, I'd be like, psh, psh, done. But everything just takes a little bit more messing around to get it sort of nice. Time for the second wet trowel. We're going to do the same again, only because the trowel's brand new. We're going to brush the whole surface wet. We're going to wet the whole thing down all over. Just cleaning that sealer line out as well. That's the, that's the beauty of having a nice brand new trowel that doesn't half get them seam lines cut out nice and square. So this brushing it works really well with a brand new trowel. If you've got a lot of walls on, then it's very tedious doing it this way, so I wouldn't recommend putting too much on the brand new trowel, you know, enough that you can sort of handle comfortably if you have to start brushing the wall in, because, you know, it's an extra sort of step, so if you, if you push right to your limit, you know, and, you, and you're sort of chasing the plaster, the last thing you have to do is start having to brush it in as well, because that just takes even longer, but it does make it a lot nicer to trowel up when you've got a you know, a brand new trial. You can see all the hollows are getting filled out, you see. That's the different colours where normally they'd be sort of like getting left and there'd be a pain with a new trial to try and fill out. Whereas because we're brushing it in, we are bringing the fat up and it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to leave a nicer job. Now, another thing I'm going to show you is it's the second wet trowel. And if you look inside here, they've got some nice finished sort of brickwork inside here. And I haven't been cleaning this bead down because what tends to happen is when the plaster is really wet, you're going to knock it all inside and just smear it all over everything. So I'm, I've waited till the second wet trial because the plaster's picking up a little bit. And at this point, it's not sticking to everything. So it does clean off. It just falls off in crumbs rather than sticking to everything, you know. So I'm not, it's not smearing it all over this internal brickwork, making a hash of all that, you know. Just comes off nicely. If that was wet, it would all be smeared all over the face of all these bricks now and then. That's, you know, doesn't come off. That's that's the inside of that ruined, so. I know this video is about how to break in a brand new trowel, but I try and give you as many little tips as, well, as I can, you know. I felt the towel grab a little bit there. It didn't want to slide over. This is the thing, if you don't lubricate the walls and it's a brand new blade, it will try and stick. And that's when you end up tearing the plaster. It's hard really because really I should show you all the things that can go wrong with a new trial, but then I'm sort of ruining a the job that I'm trying to do nice. So I'm sure I'm just trying you've got to just trust me and just do it this way, and then you won't have issues 
I can't show you the issues because I don't want them myself, you know. See what I'm doing there as well? I'm going to try all across the top of there, like I did the ceiling line, just cleaning off the top of the skirting boards. If my old fellow was here now watching, he'd be giving me a load of stick. He'd be moaning at me for kneeling down. It's bad for your knees to be kneeling down, so. There you go. Sorry, this is the position I should be in. What happens is though, so sort of, the bigger the beer tank gets, the, <laughs> you have to hold your breath when you're in this position. <laughs> I can't flipping breathe. Beautiful. I'm sorry for the polish that one, right? This is it now. It's basically, this wall is basically ready for the polish after this. But what I will do is, because this is brand new, I'm not just going to polish it, I will hit it twice. So the next one, I might use a tiny bit of water when I'm polishing, and then I'll polish it again because I'm just going to check every little squared inch and make sure it's all perfect. Just polishing now. I'm just using a tiny little bit of water. Just lubricating this blade. careful now because if it's going to tear this is when it potentially will do it so just go steady if it begins to tear just stop leave it let it set more remember the bubbles that we have they're gone now so if you go over plasterboard you can get to a nice finish quite quickly if you re over old walls and you've got issues like bubbling and rippling, then the job just takes longer. So don't get yourself in a little bit of a tizzy when it's not done fast. It is what it is. Domestic plastering going over old walls takes longer than skimming over plasterboard. You can use accelerators and stuff and that speed things up, but um, this is just how it is. It's not about how fast you get done and get gone over them. It's about making sure the job's absolutely perfect. Right, that's all the polish now. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna clean round, and then I am gonna just hit it one more time and just check for any tiny little imperfections. You don't really have to take this stage, but because it's a brand new trial, I am gonna just check everything. I know it's all right, but still, just, just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna start cleaning up now.
to this round. Once that's off, you can see everything nice and neatly. I'll do this on the skirt boards as well. We'll do it on the skirt boards, we'll clean them, we'll clean all the granite half up. Now, we're going to give it the final, the final pass now, this trowel. Now, let me tell you about this trowel. If you don't already know, this trowel, stainless steel, 14 inch, I'm going to wear this in for a month, so it's going to be getting more of this. On the 14th of March, if you put your name down for this, it could be yours, I'll be putting it in the post to you. So if you want to find out how to get this trial once it's fully worn in, I'll have this sharp as a razor blade by the 14th of next month. 14th of March 2023. So I'm going to be getting this. There's a link in the description. You can click on the link in the description and it'll take you straight to the page where you're going to pay no more than five quid to put your name on the list. Uh, to potentially win this trial there'll also be another link in the description for the video that explains all about it so have a little check of that out if you fancy having this for yourself go in the description and uh, click on one of the links so we've got a final little pass now it's doable to get a nice job of a walk a brand new trowel, it's just not easy. It's just not easy. It probably look quite easy what I'm doing there, but any experienced plasterer will tell you that use a brand new trowel is a bit of a pig. So there you go. I bet you thought I couldn't do it, didn't you? I bet you thought you won't be able to get that wall nice. But there you go. I only used that trowel. There was nothing else used in the process. The long answer to the question is, yes, it is possible to leave a nice job with a brand new trial and start the box. It's not easy, though. It's not easy. But if you use the little tips and tricks, brushing the wall, stopping it tearing, then it is possible to do. Now, as I said earlier in the video, I'm doing the hard work for you. I'm going to break this trial in over the course of a month. On the 23rd of March, it'll be getting shipped off to someone. So, you have got from now until the 23rd of March 2023 to put your name on the list. Click on the link in the description, get your name down, and this could be yours. I'm going to pull a name out live on YouTube, and this is going to get shipped off to someone. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you learned something. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a little like. If you think it could help someone else, feel free to share it. Whatever you choose to do, though, thanks for watching. Ciao.